Hey guys, welcome to game two of the final match between Turtle and Adame. Turtle starting, this is actually my least favorite Zerg color, only because of the what it does there. It's just hard to see in the overall text screen. Upper right hand corner, blue Zerg. Adame, bottom, or uh, Turtle, bottom left hand corner, we have, this is actually kind of a gross one too, isn't it? It just doesn't look, ah, whatever. <laughs> we have Adame actually on his BSL account as the yellow Protoss. I believe this is on BSL Aid Runner. Great match one. I feel like their Art of Turtle just had a miss rally and lost control in that kind of space. And I feel like that's really what, that plus the storm drops really is what Adame rode right into the final match. And been really fun games to cat. This group has surprised me, the quality of it. I'm gonna admit it. Honestly, uh, looking at the names, Initially, I'm like, I think Arter Turtle's just going to walk over everybody and that's going to be it. But thus far, it's been extremely evenly matched. It's been, I feel like every match I've looked at, it could be anyone's game. And the matches have just been really solid. Just really, really solid. You can check out the APM around 450. Look at these guys with their 450 APM. Nine pool from Arta Turtle. So he wants to perhaps be a little bit more aggressive initially. See if that pays off for him. Which I like on this map, again, because of this kind of ramp action. Inside gateway, and I, I gotta feel like this, yeah, the expansion is just too wide to blockade, is what it is to do that fast expansion. So you gotta go for that one base. I wonder if that's, uh, I'm kinda curious what the statistics are on this map for Protoss. And I would like a more talented Protoss player to let me know, because I, I feel like that's gotta play a big role, right? Where you're forced into more one base Protoss play. Especially these days, with the meta the way it is. Anyway. Simulator about halfway finished, we do have the gateway first. So perhaps some sort of tech build. Overlord, I think, saw that probe scout moving to the upper left-hand corner, which should give Art of Turtle some idea. And I think Art of Turtle might go for an initial speedling build. We'll see. He is got building that six, that he's definitely, I should say, prompting. Everything that we've seen up to this stage is indicating that we are going for early Zergling plus speed in order to provide that uh, sort of flood pressure. First sell it is up. We'll see if he plants on that front door. There's this, yeah, Zergling speed. And actually pulling the, the following drones off gas. So this is going to be a lot of Zerglings early. Let's see if they catch that probe scout. Probe is going to see them. That's going to be a critical thing. They are, it looks like, yeah, they're just going to ignore the probe, proceed forward. Two zealots are going to be built, but how does Adame respond to follow this up? Does he plant a traditional gateway? Does he just stick to building zealots? Is he going to play it a little bit more conservatively? One critical thing is he wants to keep this probe alive in this background area to see the additional larva and probes that are being built for Zerglings to know exactly what sort of defense and how much of it he should build. Probe on the line. Again, the probe can fire through the zealots. A little bit of a trick there, but this is kind of a wide choke. I feel like this, maybe if they attack the, if they back off, nope, they're going to go for the Zealots. So working on first, one kill initially, this is not the sort of engagement you want to kind of press through things. Pylon, defensive pylon being built, two Zerglings versus one Zealot, and they're still not able to breach, and that was a big win for Adame right off the bat. Still that single Zergling, and he might even be able to swing around and get additional probe scout information. Here's the thing, now with these two Zealots on the front, the probe nearby, and that pylon right there, even if the Zerglings get some close sort of breach, a building could be plopped down. Um, but I was wondering if we are going to see some attack on that Lurker Egg. Something along those lines. A cannon being placed just to provide that additional bit of defense. And I think, yeah, Art of Turtle, he's not fully all in yet. He does have his natural expansion building. But he's invested a significant amount of resources into Zerglings here. And if he doesn't get any sort of breach, if he doesn't at least get a scout with it, that's a lot of raw resources that were spent in, I don't know, denying a natural expansion that would be denied anyway due to kind of, I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to pull that back. I'm going to say, let's see how this plays out. Maybe Art of Turtle is like, you know what? I'm kind of thinking this back through, and it's one of those things I'm not super confident in because it, it's rare to see this. I don't have enough experience in this level of play at this kind of arena like this. So three hatches being placed from Arter Turtle. I'm almost wondering if the Zerglings plus speed just sitting in this de defensive position where they can deny this is still an overall win because the natural expansion is so wide open, right? So wide open, plus that Zergling speed that even with these handful of Zealots that can go down and defend the ramp, these Zerglings, these speed, the, the sheer numbers, they would be able to swarm and maybe wipe them out or maybe even get a run by, something along those lines. So just having these Zerglings, this speed here, forces Adame to stick to one base. 
And that means Art and Hurdle can sit back and go from there. So I'm, I'm going to play it from that strategy and say that this is more of a long-term strategic thing that Art and Hurdle is doing rather than resources lost when he wasn't able to breach the ramp. I'm going to pull it back and trust Art and Turtle and his skills. Unfortunately, the Zergling's just lazy. As I say all that, the Zergling's being lazy and letting that probe just move their way across, not reporting to the boss or anything. Level 1 weapons about halfway finished. Citadel of the Dune is up. And I think Adame is moving in towards a level 1 weapons attack. The one thing about this map is, is just looking at the architecture and whatnot, I almost feel like it gives Zerg a significant advantage because this is kind of what you want as a Zerg base anyway, right? Have that nearby natural expansion with that early game Zergling pressure and just what you can do with the natural expansion. It, I kind of wonder how that... I, I would like to see... Really what I want to see is the statistics on this map is I guess what I'm saying. And if there is a high level Starcraft... You know, if you're 1800 plus is much better than I am able to kill that probe scout, but does see the fact that Hydralisks were being produced. Still no, no Corsair, by the way. This is just going to be pure zealot, pure leg speed for Adame. I would like to know what the overall statistics are on um, BSL Laid Runner and what uh, Protoss players think about it, particularly in the PV, PVZ. If you can give me an unbiased opinion, because I know some people are like, all Zerg are scum, right? So if you can give me an unbiased opinion, let me know. Lair about mostly finished. Zerg uh, Hydralisk Den is getting that Hydralisk speed upgraded. But this is going to be pretty fast, Ze so additional gateways being pumped, and I think this is just going to be pure zealot to try to counter this. He's not even worried about expanding. I think this is just going to be, I'm going to win this on pure zealot as a follow-up or not. And unfortunately, the Zerglings playing right into this, because they are getting thinned out, which is exactly what Adame wants. And it's actually also, that was kind of a clever maneuver on Adame, because he, he's almost maneuvered as though, yeah, I'm just going to go take my natural expansion, that's all I'm doing here with this amount of zealots, and now the le leg speed kicks in. And engages and this is a is that a full control group close to a full control group of zealots making their way across and still and that's going to force a though wow that, that right perfect timing right as a bunch of drones were produced by our art turtle so i think he was baiting that in fact i think he was baiting for all of those pro yeah and that's going to force a bunch of sunken colonies which i don't know if they're going to be in time it's going to come down to micromanagement sim city and maybe a little bit of luck great play from adame Sneaking out in the natural, and he actually might be able to just gun down this natural expansion. We'll see. Moving his way across, has good zealot spread on top of this. Hydralisks trying, yeah, using the SimCity with them. This is going to be the attack that decides the game. Hydralisks on top there. Good SimCity overall, blockading these zealots out, and the zealots not able to get all of the creek, co the sunken colonies out yet. There are reinforcements flooding their way across. I think this might hold for Arter Turtle. We'll see. Our, the, the question is going to be reinforcements, the additional drones. The drones coming off the line. This is too many zealots. I take it back. Zealots on top of the last sun colony. And this is just drones and a single hydralisk trying to defend. Zealots accidentally attacking themselves for a half second there, but able to clean off what looks like the last bit of defense and making their marching their way commandingly into the main. So the reinforcement's going to be able to go and wipe out whatever's there. Artiturl in disarray. His my yeah, just not a lot of supply to follow this up with. Maybe with some micromanagement, he can get some sort of Zerglings around, but these Zealots are reigning free in his main in the meantime. If he can defend this, he'll still be in a good position, but it is not looking like he's going to defend this. Oh, these lazy Zealots, though. Zealots need to get involved in this attack overall if they're going to uh, provide this a win. Looks like Adame trying to regroup. He does... Okay, the rest of the Zealots coming across. Honestly, it's a win if he just... Yeah, okay, I, that's just, uh, reading my mind here. Honestly, this is a win if he just takes out everything at the natural expansion and seals Art of Turtle back in. Artichurl sweeping down with the rest of the Zerglings and the drones, desperately trying to fight these Zealots off, but again, they're not, they're not, all they have is speed, they're not upgraded, the Zealots just, they eat Zerglings, that is what they were designed genetically to do, they're like, okay, let's put these guys in a vat, and what are they going to do, they're just going to kill Zerglings, that's all we want them to do, drones trying to get some mining time done, but getting disrupted by those Zealots once again, and I gotta say, this is going to be GG, I think Adame is going to sweep uh, Artichurl, I honestly thought Artichurl was going to win this grouping, and be one of the first guys out, instead, I think, that he's going to get locked out, desperately trying to fight, trying to get this down to eight drones here versus the 23 work account on the opposite side for Adame. So Adame with a level... So for all of my talk about Protoss on this map, able to pull a win out, well played by him. Congratulations. He's going to advance with Agistil. Still want to hear uh, high level... If, <laughs> if I have high level skilled guys out there listening to this, probably not. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Maybe G5's out there. If you guys have an opinion, let me know what it is regarding the balance of BSL Aid Runner. Whew! Good match. That is it for Group A. Congratulations to Agistel and Adame. 
and I think I might have a shot to cast the round of eight for Chobo League as well. I'll try to catch one of these guys as they make their way out. Thanks everybody to listen. Uh, thanks everybody for to listening. Thanks everybody for listening. <laughs> Commentated one game too many, so I should go relax, get some food, take some deep breaths, meditate, etc., etc. Appreciate all y'all. Thanks for listening.